Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying three different curate bars. Uh, these are new, that's what they say on the box. And what the deal was, was we got one for a free Friday at Kroger. You could pick out whichever one you wanted. So that just happened to be the one, the salted uh, dark chocolate with almonds that Kevin has. And so then I thought, I don't wanna try just one for a video. I would like to try all that they offer. Uh, we only saw these three at Kroger, so I went back and got the other two. They were actually $1.99 a bar, so they're not that cheap. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Yeah. So, we'll see how good they are. They better be really good for $2. Yeah. Uh, this one has Marcona, Almond, and Apricot. That's what? Marcona. what that is. Almond, and Apricot. It has honey, uh, lemon honey, quinoa, apricot, balsamic vinegar, that's an interesting combination. I think so too. This one has dark chocolate and hazelnuts with um, almonds, quinoa, vanilla, hazelnuts, dark chocolate, and chia seeds. And this one has, uh, this one's salted decadence. It's dark chocolate and almonds with hemp seeds, Macon, Macona? Marcona, Marcona, that's how I said it. Marcona uh, almonds. Marcona almonds, dark chocolate, California sea salt, quinoa, and almond butter. Almond butter, that sounds good. So which one do you want to try first? We could just work it on our own. Okay, sounds good. Um, calorie wise, this is 200 calories. Okay. No cholesterol, 230 milligrams of sodium. 200 calories. And okay, different. so they're different. Uh, these, um, I looked at it, they are made in uh, Columbus, Ohio. And it says, Curate started with a small group of passionate, health focused people who wanted to be excited about snacking again. We asked ourselves a simple question why does good for you have to mean boring? So we began crafting delightful combinations of carefully selected ingredients and artfully mixing them into flavors that deliver an extraordinarily uh, snacking experience extraordinary stacking experience. The result, a curated collection of simple ingredients combined in ways that are completely unexpected and absolutely delicious. So take a bite and challenge your snacking expectations. Come explore new ways to, uh, new ways to snack at curatesnacks.com. It's a little quinoa seeds you kind of <laughs> work on I'm spitting I don't mind that it's good mm -hmm. the texture of the, the little quinoa seeds are a little tiny and but they're not hard they're they're soft right there's like an almond and I left you half of one mmm that's good actually I don't know yeah. if it's darn ain't that good but it's good yeah I like that a lot I do not think I would never pay a dollar ninety nine no but I really like that. Mm -hmm. If they lowered that price, or maybe um, they sell these at Walmart as well. I just happened to get them at, Wal at Kroger because that was where the Free Friday was. Um, if they're cheaper at Walmart, that that may be another option. But yeah. that one in particular is really good. It's pretty good. All right. And this is the um, dark chocolate with hazelnuts, almonds, quinoa, vanilla hazelnuts, dark chocolate chia seeds. It is, uh, they're all um, no artificial preservatives or flavors or colors, non-GMO, gluten-free, six grams of protein, good source of plant-based fiber. Um, this one is 200 calories. I didn't get the sea salt out of the first one, but. I did not taste sea salt. You're right, I did not get sea salt. But I do love I get the more flavor of, date flavor than of the, the almonds. Yeah, the almonds and dates are there, but I don't know what the bounder is in there. I didn't look at the ingredients that close. Okay. Brown rice serve? Yeah, I didn't do that to the first one. Okay. People complain too much. Okay. And the really strong chocolate flavor. Mm-hmm. I like that one too. I do too. It's um 
It's almost like a baking chocolate. Not quite as bitter as a baking chocolate, but it almost tastes like a baking chocolate. I agree with you. It's like, yeah, when you're going to make cookies or something. And that's yeah, the, the chocolate that, chocolate chips. Yeah, you know, that it's you pull out of the cabinet. I don't get a strong hazelnut. No, I didn't taste hazelnut at all. Mm -mm. It was all chocolate with the little small seed or whatever the little small little seeds are. Mm -hmm. But uh, an almond. Yeah, that's good though. I like that a lot. That that one is um, good, if not better than the first one, mm -hmm. because you have the addition of all that chocolate. Yeah, yeah, still not worth dollar ninety nine. That's but very it's, it's good. Very good. Yeah, I, yeah, dollar ninety nine. Now this I think one, that's gonna be the case with all these. This one. <coughs> Sorry. Seeds are a killer. This one sounds a little scary to me. Um, vinegar. Because it has, uh, yeah, it has balsamic vinegar, lemon, honey, quinoa, apricots, uh, Marcona almonds. Um, it just, it's just, yeah, it sounds different because of, it has just How different things. These were 200. How much was that one? This one was a little less. This one was 190. So 200 calories for a bar, that's almost like a, your whole breakfast. Okay. Poopies. Mm, this one's squishier. What fruit does that have on there? Apricot. Yeah. You really taste the apricot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't care about that one. I don't either. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm, I'm tasting lemon. And, and it's, the apricot. Um, it's those y'all. It's a cleaner lemon. Yeah. It's not a good lemon. Uh, it literally is like, like pine saw. Yeah. Like cleaning lemon, and that's all you get. You get the texture of the the nut. Yeah, I. Mm -mm. It's very squishy too. Oh, wow, I don't like that at all. It's if you and the I actually think that it's the lemon, the apricots, and the vinegar combined make kind of a funky flavor. Wow. Yeah. yeah I don't care for that one. Mm mm. Not at all. I don't you, dislike it as much as you do, but I don't. If I you all had it. that, if you like it, then um, more power to you. That's wonderful. I just did not like that at all. No, but these two are really good. Yeah, these these two are super. Um, and I would suggest if you're interested in trying a new bar, if these sound like something that um, would be neat to you because they're new, then please give them a try. I would definitely go with the the sea salt and the the chocolate. hazelnut dark chocolate yeah and then leave the the mango uh, <laughs> yeah leave that one uh but these you know because they're not cheap and so i would want you to try something to where you you know you're not gonna waste your money and that one is so iffy i mean it's bad for me but i'm just saying yeah, you might love most it. people yeah. that yeah uh, then you would, I think you would be safe trying one of these, especially the sea salt. I mean, mm. yeah. yeah, it's not super chocolatey, not super anything, but it's got a good flavor. My favorite of the three was the, the chocolate, chocolate hazelnut. Mine's about equal on both of them, honestly. Either yeah. one, it could go either way. Right. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, we would love it if you would subscribe. And thanks for watching.